Hello, my name's Clive Taylor from Doability. I'm just going to demonstrate the Valeris S7 rollators. Um, if we look on this side, you can see we've got quite a, a big rollator, and on this side we've got quite small for small people. Um, on the main differences are in either the wheels, the seats, or the handles. So, so on this side you've got a, quite big wheels, um, which is more suitable for outdoor use. Um, they're also quite spongy, so it just minimises vibration coming up through the into the handles. If you've got quite painful hands, then that can be a particular useful thing. Um, then we we'll drop down slightly more, um, which is more sort of indoor and outdoor use. They're still quite reasonably big wheels compared to most rollators, but they're um, not quite as big as the Patrol. And then through to the small. Um, the compact, which is more of an indoor rollator, um, and the kids. Um, the key difference between the big, big wheel and the smaller wheels is the manoeuvrability. The smaller wheels obviously allow you to manoeuvre quite a, a lot easier than a, than a big wheel would. But the, the benefit of having a big wheel is that it, it is, um, it's more smooth going over rough surfaces compared to a small wheel. Um, um, if we then talk about the seats, we've got the standard seats, seat widths here, um, through from the Patrol to the S7, and then the Compact and the kids have got quite a, a narrower seat, which is designed to make the rollator slightly narrower and um, get around tight spaces indoor, indoors, um, or you don't need it quite so wide because you're a bit smaller. Um, the other extreme, I suppose, is uh, the wider seat, which um, allows uh, people that have find it difficult to get in between the, the handlebars, but also allows um, people with a wider gait to um, move their, swing their legs around, um, so not kicking into the wheels at the back. Um, if we look at um, the seat, or the features of this model, which is the Patrol, um, is quite is notable for its um, very high handle heights, particularly because of um, the bigger wheels, which is for out, more for outdoor use. It can be used for indoors, but it's just it's probably not quite as manoeuvrable as I said before. Um, so this one would do a handle uh, a suited user over six foot on. Um, uh, 5 foot 11. It's also got a slightly higher weight capacity, it's 150 kilograms. Um, so as you can see you just adjust the handle heights um, to suit whatever feels most comfortable, which is probably about there for me or slightly higher. Um, they have uh, the park brake uh, is there, so it's useful for when if you need to sit down, then you should always put the park brake on before you sit down so it doesn't roll away um, and you end up on the ground. Um, the other um, braking mechanism is the, the travel brake, which slows you down when going, um, when walking around or going down a hill, then you'd use the travel brakes just to, to slow you down. The fold, we just uh, pull the seat up and then to unfold then you just push the seat back down so they're very easy to to um, adjust um, if you are quite tall then and you want the seat up quite high then you adjust it up up to the upper level um, whereas if you want it down if you're a bit shorter um, then you can push the, the seat down even lower. Um, there are different other, other than this, this is the standard height patrol, um, whereas you can get a low rollator which is at a slightly lower profile which allows you to put the handles down a bit lower if you're finding that's a bit high. Um, so that's the main features of these. Many other notable features of particularly this, this type of handle is the, the braking mechanism just goes through the profiles um, so there's no wires to get caught um, and also the, the travel brake is uh, separate from the handle so it allows you to grip onto the handle should you feel the need to, to grip. Um, so 
Then we move on to the, these two models, which is the S7 Smart, um, this one, and the Discovery is there, which, as I said before, the Discovery has slightly wider and more spongy wheels. And But actually, other than that, the features on these two rollators are pretty much exactly the same. They have the same folding mechanism, the park brakes in the same place, and the travel brake, and there's no cables. Uh, and then if we go to the uh, S7, then they're pretty much identical uh, to these two models, um, the wheel heights and the function and size is the same, but the main difference is the um, cable brakes rather than the braking mechanism going through the profile. So, um, whereas the, the Smarts have a separate lever like this, the S7 has an integrated handbrake. So if you find that reaching for a lever would be too difficult, then um, having the integrated um, travel brake might be more suitable. Um, and the park brakes the same place. Um, so that's the standard S7. Now we've got the compact, um, which is the same features as all these, except as I said before, the seat width is slightly narrower. Um, and the, also the, um, the distance between the front wheel and the back wheel is um, less than the, the standard models, which are quite a bit <coughs> longer. It just allows you to manoeuvre are in tight spaces more easily. Um, and there's different sort of handle colours as well with this. Um, with these different, these roll leaders here, they have, they come in um, the low and the wide. Um, but when we get into these, um, the S7 and the compacts, then they come in the, the low, the, two, the compact and the S7 come in the low and the kids one is just um, the one model but with the two different hand grips. Um, the weight capacity of these, uh, the S7 and these models is 140 kilograms, the compact is 125 um, and the kids is, is 80 kilograms so that's the difference with those different models. Um, so the kids is just quite similar to the um, compact but the handle the profile here is is it shorter again than, than the compact which just allows the uh, handles to go down slightly lower and it also has a more cylindrical grip um, and this one's got uh, slow down brakes if you find that the rollator is rolling away too quickly uh, so just to recap this is sort of the taller rollator through to sort of indoor outdoor that's outdoor indoor outdoor and then the compact is more indoor and um, it can be used for outdoor as well but more maneuverable to less maneuverable thank you